morning, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that little mini get ready with me portion. I'm about to work out here in a little bit. Just sipping on some Legion cereal milk protein, code Emily, as always, or the spring sale is going on. So I will put my spring sale code and the dates that that works on the screen. Um, but this stuff is actually just super good by itself. Hence why I'm drinking it by itself. Otherwise I wouldn't drink it by itself if it wasn't good by itself. I never understand when people ask, like, especially when I repeatedly like drink something or use something or eat something, they're like, do you like that? And I'm like, no, I just repeatedly use it and, and share it because I hate it. Anyway, <laughs> getting into today, I'm about to have a posterior chain workout day. Also, what we're not gonna do in this video is judge my eyebrows because I did a fresh tint on them this morning and I left it on too long. I didn't set a timer. I was like, oh, well, I'll just do this while, I'll, while I'm tinting them. Um, and I did this for a bit too long. I was getting my progress photos and everything ready for this morning and then I was like, oh shit, I gotta wash this off. And they're a little too much, but thankfully this fades decently fast, especially like the first couple days, like. I would say around like day two or three, it's when it's normally the best. Uh, so we're just, we're not going to talk about day zero. We're not going to talk about it. This video should be pretty fun. I've been into matcha lately, so I'm trying a new brand. Uh, and I'll show you guys that. I guess we'll do that after the workout. Um, but then there's also just been like some body stuff going on. So I want to have like a little chit chat with you guys about that later on uh and yeah i never really like update youtube because i assume you guys are all updated because you follow me on instagram but i feel like that's an incorrect assumption you know what they say about assumptions anytime you assume it makes an ass out of you and me um but obviously shows are being canceled shows are being pushed back um uh, my first show was already supposed to happen and i found out about a month out um that it was canceled so like we just kind of readjusted the plan um right now i'm on like a small diet break my calories got brought up around 300 and then i have two back-to-back -back refeeds every week that are higher than that um cardio came down so it's just like a nice little break for my system since my season is gonna be extended so that's not what we're gonna talk about today but what we're gonna talk about we'll talk about later but for now, let's work out. She may be pretty, she may be smart, she may be funny, she's changed your broken heart. I'll never be her, although I try. She may seem perfect for you, but so am I. And I know. To take what I like But I hope There's trouble in paradise You seem to think That you'll be the one But I don't Cause I know
for me? Are you waiting for me to be done? She literally sits down here while I'm working out the whole time and just waits for me to be done. Yeah? Oh yeah, a big yard. Oh yeah, a big girl. I love you. Give this a try. It's really tasty. It's just like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a matcha expert, but it tastes like very light and fresh and green. Like it's the greenest tasting, not like grass green, but like just, I don't know, green <laughs> tasting matcha. I've ever like made. I've also really been liking, and this is why I've been buying so much matcha is because I bought this and I was like, wow, this is really good. I should drink this stuff more. Um, this Hustle matcha tea is pretty tasty. And I don't know, I might be a fairly well-educated fitness professional, but some things just make you feel healthy, regardless of data, no data, like wheatgrass shots. Like I love wheatgrass shots. So I just, I just feel better about myself. And that's really what life's all about, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, so I took a shower and I did my weekly hair wash. And I've been a big fan of no heat hairstyles lately. So I just wanted to show you guys one of the ones that I've been doing. It's super easy. I posted a different one on my like fashion, beauty, lifestyle page. So I will put that right here. Uh, but this one is basically just doing two French twists on the side of your head and like letting your hair dry that way. And it looks super just beachy, like Giselle Bunchiny. I just look like this kind of, <laughs> kind of waves afterwards. So you want to make sure that your hair is still slightly damp. You don't want to do this on super dry hair. If your hair is dry, you can literally just use a spritz bottle and like spritz your hair. So it's damp. Uh, so all you're going to do you're gonna start taking your hair and you're basically just gonna start French twisting it or twisting it so you're just gonna take pieces I don't really do the first couple without adding any hair to it and then I'll start adding little pieces to the hair that I'm currently working with This does not have to be super precise by any means. Now a lot of times I will do this and sleep on it, um, but it's midday so this should hopefully be dry, you know, by the night time. I mean not like I'm going anywhere, um, but sometimes it's kind of uncomfortable to sleep in depending on where you get the little bun which I will show you in a second and then just twist it into a little bun Where's my pins? and then because I have really thick heavy hair I use these big long bobby pins and you just one and two and I've been middle parting my hair a lot lately, but I especially like to middle part it with that if I'm doing this. Uh, and I can flip it over once it's all done and everything if I want to, but when it's middle parted, that way I get like an even sized wave or curl on each side because it's the same amount of hair versus when I side part my hair and there's like a ton of hair over here and not that much over here. So I'm just gonna do the other side real quick. Now we just have these little awkward buns on the side of my head. But my hair will be super cute afterwards and nobody's going to see me besides the thousands of people that watch this video. Anyway, that's how you do it. I'll show you guys when it's done. I don't know if I'll film any more clips today because I'll look like this. Uh, so if I do, you'll see them. And if I don't, I'll see you tomorrow. 
okay, I might still film today. This actually doesn't look that bad. The entire time I filmed that, I had no idea that you could see my silver wig in the background. I just saw it in the closet today and I wanted to try it on and so I did and it's just chilling there. Hold on just a second. Okay, but actually I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. Maybe I'll just wear this all day. I don't know. Am I gonna wear this all day? Maybe? All right, you guys, so I just wanted to show you how my hair came out. Obviously, I pinned the little front bits back just because I like having my hair out of my face. I've been in this place where, I, like, cause normally, especially when I work, I just tip my head over and like, twist my hair up in my little bun and clip it with my alligator clip and like that's how I live my life. But I'm like, Emily, you have all this hair. What's the point if you just wear it up all the time? And I'm like, well, I'm not cutting my hair. So I'm trying to find ways to wear it down more often that are more convenient. Also, I have so much hair that if I like keep it up for too long, I get headaches. So such is the struggle of having thick, long, heavy hair. Anyway, this is how it came out. I just spray it with some light hold hairspray and it's good to go. Like I'll use some wave spray on it too, uh, but that is downstairs and I don't have that up here where I'm filming this clip. Um, also, I don't know how people literally have an entire head of hand tied extensions because that like my gray piece, that's the only fake hair that I have. The rest of it is all mine, but my little gray piece, like it's a, it's a tied extension and this little thing drives me like all the way through, but I can't. Um, and also because I haven't been able to get it moved uh, because of obvious reasons, it's just, it's really fun. It's moved down like an inch. But anyway, because it moves like as your hair grows. Uh, but anyway, that's how this no heat hairstyle came out. Just nice and beachy. And I like it. All right, we're gonna carry on with the rest of the video. My dog is white. Oh, it's like you, Oops. Mon chien est blanc. I am opening the car door. J'ouvre. Uh huh. J'ouvre la porte de la voiture. Il y a un salon. Il y a un salon. There are flowers in the garden. Il y a les fleurs dans le jardin. Il y a des fleurs dans le jardin. Oh, my bear! We like flowers. Nous aimons des fleurs. Nous aimons des fleurs. Les fleurs, non, des fleurs. Une fleur. Ils ouvrent les fenêtres. Ils ouvrent les fenêtres. Try it again. Ils ouvrent les fenêtres. Ils ouvrent les fenêtres. <laughs> I'm so gonna get a count that. L blank les fenêtres, but it's L S E N S O N S E E Z E N T A. Hi. Hello. How cute this angle is. What do you think, Lou? Oh, oh, oh. That, that's a freaking giant duck. To... <laughs> she just tried to. Luna, don't eat that. Don't eat your own fur. That's your own fur. You big dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, guys, is this focus? We really never know here. We Oh, please don't knock the camera over, Luna. Um, really fancy staged angle here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so disoriented today. No, I... Time is really just a construct. But anyway, I wanted to start wrapping this video up here. As you guys saw in the last clip, I have been... I've actually been practicing my French. I use Duolingo. I got it like a year ago and I was planning on going to Greece um, to try and like learn some basic Greek and then I, one, did not go to Greece. That was a whole thing. Um, and then two, I like added on French to it just because I already speak it and wanted to brush up. So I figured, I, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to do that 
in my self-isolation sometimes to like disconnect my brain from things but anyway uh i know i mentioned in the beginning of the video like wanting to <laughs> luna is just on one right now you should see her behind the camera like her tail is wrapped around the tripod um but like in the beginning of the video just like talking about some body related stuff and i don't know i feel like i feel like i've just been so much more disconnected from youtube versus like i used to tell youtube like everything and I don't know, I just kind of gotten away from that, not because I don't want to be real, but kind of just because I got tired of, like, being criticized for literally everything that I would say. And I've just become, like, more of a private person, especially when it comes to, like, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I could get on, like, such a ramble. Um, but anyway, I've been going through, like, this weird thing where, I mean, everybody struggles with body image issues, right? Like, regardless of what your body looks like, regardless of how confident you are, regardless of anything, like everybody goes through just like weird stuff, right? And I've been going through this thing that I've literally never experienced in my whole life where I don't love how muscular I am right now. Like this is the most, obviously, because this is the longest I've been training ever in my life because that's how time works, even though time is a construct. <laughs> But this is the most muscularly dense I've ever been in my life. And I go through like weird periods where I just don't love it. Um, even though I know I did it on purpose. And like I know I did it on purpose, especially for like competitive reasons. But I don't know. I've just been going through this weird thing where like, and don't get me wrong. Most days I feel pretty great. I'm like, yeah, we're killing it. But then there's just days where I'm like, I don't like this and like getting dressed can be a nightmare sometimes uh, especially like my like because my proportions are so just different from top to bottom I don't know and like this isn't me trying to complain at all and I'm not trying to like grab for like praise or compliments or whatever but like I don't know I feel like sometimes it can come across because I don't voice these things as much anymore that like I never struggle with anything and that like oh it's all just fun and games hunky dory here also I don't know if you can see my armpits but I haven't shaved them in a couple days so we're just laying it all out here um but yeah there's times <laughs> where in my brain I'm like I don't love this look on me so much and yeah it's not all the time it's just sometimes and then I start to wonder like could I compete with less tissue than I have because like my last critique was that I needed more tissue particularly in my glutes but like I don't know <sighs> And obviously, like, I still have some getting leaner to do, and now I have plenty of time to do it because my season was supposed to be done in, like, June, and now it's probably not going to get started until, like, July, um, which is great. Like, that gives us more time to get ready. That gives me time now to have, like, a nice little break uh, and bring food up and cardio down and all that stuff, but, like, it definitely kind of sucks that <laughs> my season is now not even going to be started, like, after it was already supposed to be done with, based on, like, what we planned for, uh, but I also know that, like, I could decide not to do it if I really didn't want to do it, and at this point in time, I still really want to do it, so I'm doing it. I don't know. I'm just freaking word vomiting because, again, I feel like I don't do this as much anymore, and, like, so they're, they're like, I've been feeling weird about the body stuff, and then I've just been feeling in this, like, weird place around social media where, like, I've wanted to be more private these last few years, but then I also feel disconnected. And, like, sometimes I'll go back and watch old videos, and you know, from this time, like, four years ago, and I'll be like, wow, I remember just feeling so much more connected to, like, the people watching my stuff. I just felt so much more, like, I don't know. I don't know. And I feel like maybe some of that feeling was just, like, I did put so much out there and it was almost like this naivety because I hadn't gotten as much crap for putting, you know, myself out there. And I know that's something that you can't really avoid and people have their different opinions on it about like, oh, well, you, you're, you're an influencer. This is what you should expect from people. Da, 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 da. I don't think you should ever expect people to be like, cruel to you just for being who you are and like all that kind of stuff but I'm getting on so many tangents right now but yeah I just felt weird and I just wanted to share that because I felt weirdly disconnected from you guys and I feel like there's this weird like veil thing happening and like 
There's all this freaking virus stuff going on right now, and everything just feels weird, and (laughs) sometimes I just miss, like, you know when you're younger and you don't know as much about life, and you haven't lived as much life, and so you, like, look back on that time, and you're like, wow, I was naive to so much, and you almost, like, wish you could be naive to that again, like, this is going in so many different directions. I don't friggin' know. But just, yeah. I just wanted to have, like, a little chat and see where it went because I feel like I used to do that a lot and it felt really nice. And that's that's what we're doing right now is we're, we're having just a nice little heart-to-heart chat at the end of the video. So I guess to sum it up, sometimes I feel weird about my body, even though I'm generally pretty confident in it most of the time. And so it's okay if you are too. I feel a weird disconnect that I kind of did on purpose, but now I kind of feel weird about it because I feel disconnected and I don't know what to do about it. And life is f***ing weird right now. That's all I got. So, (laughs) man, that's it for me. I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video or if you just feel similarly, give this thing a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for this just super high quality content. Obviously, these great angles. Um, Click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I love you. I didn't mean for any of this to come off negative. I just wanted to, like, talk to you. Because I'm never trying to make my life seem like it's perfect. Because it's not. It's far from it. Anyway, I love you so much. Give yourself a big hug for me right now. Literally do it right now. Big M-Dunk hug. Hugs are my favorite. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!